Howdy y'all. It's been about uh, a little while since I put a video out and I apologize, but we're going to be talking about Le Yellow Kiss and the Le Femto, Le Femto? Uh, RDA. A little bit different, a little unique. Uh, it's by Yellow Kiss, but we'll get into that. Let's look at some Le pictures. Let's do this. guys, like I said, I apologize. It's been a little while since I put a video out. And it's not from lack of products. It's just that I've been a little bit extra busy. Had to pick up some days at work. And it's been hard for me to get a video out. But that's all changed. Here's a video. And it is about Yellow Kiss Le Femto. And it is an RDA by Yellow Kiss. Yellow Kiss is a company out of Korea. Now they're very popular, very well known for the Pico. The Pico RDA, RTA, was very popular, very hyped up, because it was short, sweet, and gave you flavor that was to the mother effing point. See what I did there? Kind of used my catchphrase, maybe, a little bit. Yeah, uh, but yes, it was very hyped up, and uh, yeah, a lot of people knew about it, very high end. Machining was good, uh, great quality. So yeah, uh, we're going to be talking about their RDA. It is the uh, Femto. Like I said about four times now. So let's drop down to the table. Let's uh, talk about it. Let's look at it. Let's do this. Alright guys, so this is the packaging, or le packaging. The Femto by Yellow Kiss comes in. Uh, yeah, a little bit weird. A little bit like, looks like a vitamin bottle almost. Uh, very unique packaging. I really like when companies do this. Go above and beyond just like a uh, normal packaging such as something like... Oops, sorry for all the noise, I was an earthquake. Something like that. Just very, you know, whatever. This is a normal package, but when you see something like this, oop, there we go, it is very nice. So let's pop the top, Pringles. Okay, so this is, like I said, the packaging, the little gem ski itself comes in. Now it does come with a black drip tip, but I do not like this drip tip because the bore is rather narrow and I don't like it. Okay guys, I'm sorry to say we have breaking news tonight. Sorry to interrupt your local broadcast at the moment. Well, this is not news, but I'm an idiot. What I'm about to tell you isn't true and it is actually, this is the mouth to lung reducer that you're going to screw into your airflow or rather just place into your airflow to make your Femto a mouth to lung. I'm about to call it a deck post screw. Very wrong. So, that being said, I apologize for interrupting your broadcast, and uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Let's do this. Now, there is an extra um, deck post screw. Let me see if I can zoom in for you guys. Le guys. This is for your deck, and I will show you where it goes. Like I said, too narrow of a bore for me. Got some extra uh, O-rings, red O-rings, or red onion rings, if you will. Some would call them that. I don't call them that, because, you know. Uh, these are your post screws, and I will show you where those Lego. Ooh. Now we got some presents in here. We got the metal top cap and the metal AFC ring. Now, it is single-sided airflow, as you'll see. Very um, ovular, if that's a real word. Now, some people say that they don't like the design of this, but you know what? I don't really mind it. Oh, look how nasty and dirty that is. Now, that is for me. That did not come like this. Now, for all you domage conspiracy theorists, there's a lay dome. And I can say it with a mighty confidence. There is some domage. So, that's it. That's the rest of the packaging for that. Now, let me lay zoom out. Oh, look how quick that was. Now, this is the little gem ski itself. This is the RDA. So, uh, stainless steel, not bad. Got a black peak deck, I believe. I believe that is black peak. Two post screws, your central under airflow, bottom airflow. And that's going to come from this one port right uh, there, right uh, here, right uh, here. And then you got your uh, 
ancient style way to put your coil in. Not really a fan of this. This is one of the biggest drawbacks is this system. Really reduces what kind of coil you can put in here. And you know, you're going to be sticking with round wire if you're using this. Let me tell you that. You got your serial number, which is pretty nice, which is hidden by your AFC uh, ring. You won't be looking at that. It does say Le Femto. On the bottom, got a nice unique little design down here. Your stainless steel squonk pin surrounded by a peak insulator. Yellow Kiss. Such a cute name, you know what I mean? You hear me? You feel me? So yeah, that's that. Let me go to what I've been rocking with it. I've been using the, I believe this is Black Peak in the Black Peak uh, airflow control ring. So, also, some major domage going on for all you domage conspiracy theorists. But, let me uh, show you one more thing. It's a little bit unique. And then we will put a build in this bitch. Alright, well, right here and right here, I could not get these screws off. I was going to show you guys the underside of this to where the juice actually comes up through the squonk pin and travels under here through two canals and the canals lead right to here and right to here and the juice comes up. Now I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to zoom in, but I almost um, stripped these out and I really can't get these out. They're very tight. So I'm not really going to try to screw these up and get them all warped up. As you can tell, I kind of messed them up already. But just take my word for it that, you know, it's a unique system that goes, you know, bypasses the airflow and goes to the right and left. And that way you don't overflow as easily. But that's not to say that you cannot overflow with this because this is a rather large airflow in the middle. I believe it measures out about uh, 3 millimeter in diameter. Yeah, give or take, it's about three three millimeter air hole right there. So, yeah, let me put a build in this for you guys, and I will show you what that lay looks like. All right, guys, so like I said, this system is an old system of putting your coils in. Now, I recommend, not, you know, I this coil is what I had in here originally, so I'm going to show you how easy. But I do recommend that you kind of do it like that to where it's underneath, wrap it around. Now, this is, like I said, a very old style of... Uh, building and I don't really like it I feel like they could have done something different now whether or not I'm right or not you know it's not a very hard thing to build on you know just make sure it's really tight and I'd say you want it about right there you know that's not bad and right over the airflow this is a 2.5 inner diameter you don't really want to go any bigger than that as this is a single coil and you don't really want it to be you know a massive coil in here so as I always say guys, you know, when you're squonking, you don't really need a lot of cotton because, you know, if you go, if your cotton gets dry, you know, as I always say, you know, just, just squonk that bitch. And if you don't squonk that bitch, it'll stay dry. And that's just the way it is, you know. And I, I usually cut it to about right here along the edges. And the good thing about this, like I said, is the squonk is going to squonk from right here and right here. So it's going to get both sides of your cotton nice and uh, liquided up, if that's a real word. It's going to get it nice and ready to go, if you will. So just stuff it right there. And stuff it right there. And that's it. Just like that. Like that. And as always, the cotton I'm using today is... Le Cotton Bacon. No, not Kevin Bacon, but Cotton Bacon. And the juice I'm using is Keep It 100 uh, Tropical. One of my favorite juices for this RDA. It just goes well with this one. So just kind of, you know, squeeze it all over it. If you want to make a mess, you can. Oh, look at that. Thanksgiving dinner. All right, guys, let's go back up on top. All right, you guys already know what it is. I'm going to keep this short, sweet, and to the mouth effing point. All right, so... Uh, before I get started, uh, if you guys like e-juice, or tools, or some cotton, or maybe just e-juice, or whatever you like, check out Premium Vape Supply, Lay Supply, and you can use my discount code, MTN20, whether that's here, or here, or maybe here, or here, and you get 20% off your whole purchase. Check them out. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to shout out is a couple groups. Uh, well, second to last thing I'm going to shout out, a couple of groups, whether that's Squonktopus, Rock Bottom Vapes, or Squonk America on Facebook, go check them out. Great groups, great people, great conversations. Squonk America is one of my favorites as well because 
Uh, that's, I think that's where I bought this, to be honest. And, you know, it helps you get some of them hard to get. It's help you get in a group that, you know, people will guide you to what's good and, you know, get some, some hard to find objects, items, you know what I mean? RDAs, mods, what you have you, e-juice. So, last thing I'm going to shout out, it is Monday. And if you guys would, come tonight, check out my live show with Eric, the vaping politician, uh, Mr. William himself from uh, Cooper's Vape Review, and um, a special guest. Sometimes we had a special guest, sometimes it's just us, because, you know, you can't hate on us. We're all right. We do a good job sometimes. But yeah, come check us out and watch our live show, and it, it's a good time. You know what I mean? It's a good time. So yeah, that being said, let's start with some uh, some negatives. Okay, so all right now, let's do some positives. I'm feeling good today. Let's start with some positives. All right, so the first positive is going to be the uh, the flavor on this thing. It is good, okay? I can't deny that. The flavor on here because, and everyone says because it's bottom airflow that, you know, it gives great flavor. To be honest with you, I think that's another conspiracy theory, but we'll leave that for another time and date. So, uh, there is domage on this. So, for all you domage conspiracy theorists, maybe that's why the flavor's so great. But, uh, that being said, great flavor. Alright, so let's just say that you accidentally sit here and your hand gets carpal tunnel and you just, you know, feel like maybe I should squonk that much or drip that much. So, the good thing about having single-sided airflow on this is you can kind of tilt it back a little bit and it won't come out the airflow because it's kind of sitting back, sitting pretty if you will. And that'll prevent leaking a little bit. So that is one good thing about this is if you over drip or over squonk too much, uh, you can kind of tilt it like I said and, and it'll prevent it a little bit. Now the next positive to me is the fact that the way they have the squonk uh, setup is there's two canals that sit underneath that black peak and you're going to have your airflow. Then to the right and left those canals go out and then your e-juice is going to come up right to where the bottom of your cotton wick is. Very ingenious, very good way. I don't know if it's been done before but I don't think so. So it's very unique and I think that's a good positive because you know that's pretty uh, ingenious really. It, it prevents you from over squonking right directly by your uh, bottom airflow so that is a good thing. Uh, the next positive is the machining of this thing. The machining is very good. Now Yellow Kiss is you know basically known for having good quality stuff, high-end stuff, hard to get stuffed, hyped up stuff. Now I believe this is their first RDA so you know sometimes I think maybe they should have stuck to the RTA game but you know um, that is probably going to be the last positive. So I will take one more quick little puff ski to give my mouth a break ski. Alright, so let's talk about some negatives. Something I forgot to mention down below is the fact that this is a threaded top cap right here. And just in case I didn't make it clear enough, this is the only top cap it comes with. It does not come with that black or that peak top cap. You have to buy that extra. So, you know, this is threaded on. Now, that could be a negative or a positive to some of you, however you might want to look at it. But that's going to lead me into my negative. Um, sometimes when you try to take this off your, um, your mod, this is what happens. It just takes the top cap off because it is threaded. Now, they should have counter-threaded it or counterclockwise threaded it to where uh, when you turn it, it would act as a locking mechanism and it would take off your uh, RDA, but they didn't do that. And that's one of my biggest negatives with any device is when that happens. When there's no locking mechanism, you know, hey, that, that's just a negative. To some of you, it might be a negative, the fact that it is brushed up here and it's stainless polished for the airflow. So it is two-tone metal. Some of you may not like that, and I can understand that. The next negative to me is going to be the fact that the build system on this or the build deck is very old. You know, not having clamps or posts, just putting your wire under a coil or your coil wire leads under a screw. Very old, outdated, and I, I don't think that's a very good system. It, it just makes it difficult for you to build anything other than round wire. So that's going to be the next negative. Um, it, you you want to basically, you're only going to use round wire with this, and some people may not like that. Now it is a 22 millimeter RDA, but that doesn't mean that you should only have to use round wire. So that that's a negative. Uh, the last negative is it is not um, immune to over over squonking and over leaking. And actually, right after I did that, which is my own fault, it did over 
over drip a little bit, but that's going to happen when you have bottom airflow, and that's something you're going to have to, you know, really be cautious of when you're squonking or dripping. That when you drip, that tube's right there, it's going to over, over squonk or leak. So, you know, all those negatives combined with the price, because the price is up there. It's not a cheap RDA. I don't remember what I paid for it, but I know it's in that buck fifty range and and for that price I don't know if I could really recommend this to anyone and that's a shame because the flavor is great on this I just feel like they dropped the ball on this so that being said about that guys uh, this was the Femto by Le Yellow Kiss and I'm gonna have to pass for you guys I don't think you guys should uh, drop some money on this and that's just my my opinion yes they are a hyped up company might get some flack for it but one more quick hit Hey, thanks guys. Let's do this.